Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we will continue a prior screencast on working with parametric design in AutoCAD 2016. The prior screencast was on geometric. This time we're going to focus on dimensional. I have a drawing here with some objects that have already been constrained geometrically. I can go into the dimensioning panel and use tools like the linear and pick what I want and place it. We also have the ability to specify things such as um, horizontal, picking two points, placing it, hit and click into space and it's finished. Do the linear one. You can also do vertical as well. And let me do the one more horizontal up here. You also have the aligned, so I can pick two points on a, an aligned one. I can do the angular one where we're picking two objects. And we can do radius and or di uh, diameter. You cannot do both radius and diameter on a single object. You also have the ability to convert a non um, parametric dimension to a regular dimension, to, to one that is parametric. You can show or hide all of them, and you can show or hide just specific ones that you want. One of the things you also have the ability to do is get into the parametric uh, manager and start playing with some of these expressions. For example, let's say I would like D3's expression. We can double click and delete the data and say it's going to be equal to um, D4 plus D2 divided by 2, enter. And it will make the change. And so that's a quick video tutorial, screencast tutorial on uh, parametric dimensional constraints in AutoCAD 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.